Today is Overdose Awareness Day, and for the last few years, North Dakota continues to see an increase throughout the state. Nakaya Carrero shows us how to help someone during an overdose and after. From 2019 to 2020, overdose fatalities in North Dakota have gone up from 82 to 123. And the Behavioral Health Division says there are ways you can prevent an overdose from ending in a tragedy. So if you would um, happen to witness somebody who is experiencing an opioid overdose, um, the first thing you want to do is call 911. If you have Narcan available, um, you should administer the Narcan to that individual. And then you can um, provide rescue breathing and chest compressions or follow what, what instruction that 911 dispatcher would give you. In North Dakota, the Good Samaritan law actually protects people from being prosecuted who may be with someone during an overdose. If an individual would call and um, cooperate with first responders that arrive on the scene, um, you would be immune from any sort of legal prosecution um, regarding that overdose. While many hear the word overdose and think it's the end, people in the recovery community, like Judith Roberts, say it's actually a good wake-up call. What I can tell you is that in addiction, that fear will only keep you clean and sober for a short period of time. So it is vital to dive into recovery and to treat the addiction on a daily basis. While things like Narcan have helped prevent people from fatally overdosing, both individuals say follow-up treatment is key to preventing it in the future. Reporting for KX News, in Bismarck, I'm Nakaya Carrero. Experts add recognizing the signs of an opioid overdose is essential to saving lives. Look for a loss of color in their face or for it to be clammy and look for blue or purple fingernails.